Okay, so the 7018 eighth inch, uh, we're gonna run it again at 135 on the amps, DC positive. We're gonna come in here at about a 45 degree angle for our first pass. And we're just gonna kind of let it lay in there, putting the max amount of arc on the bottom piece. And we're gonna watch how that puddle rolls up on the top piece. One of the things you're gonna notice in the video is as I'm welding, I might flatten the rod a little bit more than 45. And what that'll do is that'll help push the metal up, but I'm gonna concentrate the arc on the bottom piece because it's solid. Top piece is an edge, so it's gonna heat up faster. All right, here we go. pretty much used up the whole stick that's kind of why I like to go at that 45 degree angle because you can really use that stick up if you need to we have to wait for that to cool down a bit oh we are we can kind of knock the flux off this edge that flux rolling over ain't gonna be a big deal Got to be patient. As the glow goes away, you'll start seeing the, the slag start to crack. And if you do a really good weld, it'll just peel up on its own. Okay, so kind of give it a little assist and come off the top here and just kind of see if you hit the legs. There we go. Alright, so there's our 7018 horizontal T fillet. Look at the heat marks on the bottom. Good uniform heat marks. Nice uniformity. Just kind of a simple drag and keeping the rod angle a little flat. Rolls right up. It's a good looking weld. Okay, so this is gonna be part two of running a 7018 T-fillet. This is gonna be a triple pass now. So in the previous video, uh, 7018 part one, we ran our single pass at 45 degrees and we're running on quarter inch mild steel at about 135 amps. So for pass number two, we're gonna work the bottom half. So we're gonna come up here at about 60 degrees, running the same amperage, 135, and we're gonna cover half on the base and we're gonna cover up half the weld from the first pass. We're just gonna do a straight drag. This is gonna be kind of more like a, it's gonna act like a, a G, weld but it's still technically because there's a 90 here it's going to be more of a fillet by classification but we won't use this whole rod to run the rest of this weld so we're going to run 60 degrees with a slight 10 15 degree pull we're going to watch the puddle come halfway up on our first pass and cover the other half down on the bottom so let's run it all right so here we're going to run this uh, 7018 we're going to do the second pass first 
And uh, I like to kind of run it out here at a 45 degree angle pointed outward. That way as I get down towards the bottom, I can really get that electrode in close on this T-fillet without my electrode holder hitting any of the base metal or the handle getting down on the table. So we're gonna run it. Here we go. We're just gonna watch that puddle go about halfway up on our previous weld. We're gonna run our rod right on the leg, right on the bottom part of the leg of the first pass. second pass cool do a little chip action on it and when we come back we'll set up for the third pass okay so uh, what we did is we chipped off all the slag from the second pass and then I took it over the wire wheel and I want to make sure I don't have any of this this slag on there you know you try to weld over this slag and uh, it's you're gonna get a slag inclusion the metal is not gonna bond so you're gonna see these little pit holes in there. Or if you have to actually get the weld to roll over it, uh, if they were to x-ray it uh, or put a sonogram over it, they'd see uh, where there's a hole, where it's just full of slag. So what we're gonna do is when we run this third pass, I'm gonna now drop the rod a lot flatter to a 30 degree angle, and I'm gonna run it on the top leg of the first pass. And it's gonna be a slight little uh, rocking motion, but more or less, we're just gonna do a straight pull all the way across to the end. This is gonna be more like a traditional 2F fillet. And we're just gonna run it all the way. It'll probably eat up the whole rod. And we're gonna run this again at 135, which is what the first two passes were at. Here we go. So I'm keeping this real flat. Kind of watching that puddle. It's going to sit right there on top of the second pass and it's going to roll up. I'm going to do kind of a little slight motion just to help that metal go up on the top piece. But you can do a straight drag if your angle's flat enough. I'm going to watch it just lay right in there. Used up pretty much most of the rod. And we're gonna let that glow go away and chip it. And you can already see, you can already see that the slag is rolling off the top. So it's not gonna bind up there. And the weld's gonna have a little bit of droop, which is gonna show that we did it in the horizontal position. So uh, we're gonna chip it, clean it up, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so this was our third pass that we ran at about a 30 degree angle according to the face of the weld. And we did a slight pull and you can see there's our, our cap and our triple pass. Nice, good, even uniformity. We're gonna look on the bottom. You'll see the heat marks from the first two passes. You can see the two bands right there. And then of course, when we turn this around on the back side, and we can see the heat marks from the third pass, first and third pass. And they kind of stack up. We'll see if we can get a good edge shot here. Go. So the first pass is going to be covered completely, and all you're going to see is the second pass on the bottom and the third pass on the top. And that is your 7018 three pass in the 2F position.